today we're going to be talking about three dating rules that I give all of my clients and these are ideally a non-negotiable. Now January and kind of the beginning of the year is always a bit of a time where people start to rethink their dating tendencies, they get excited about meeting somebody and kind of having had a bit of a break, some people feel raring to go. But I know that dating can also be a cause of um, anxiety and especially if you've been disappointed more than once, people can actually dread it, which is something um, that I've definitely felt myself, um, might say for myself even. So I think especially over the last two years, the pandemic situation has definitely taken a bit of a toll on our love life. But I know that so many of my clients are really excited to start this year with a clean slate and get serious about meeting somebody, but more importantly, get serious about having fun when it comes to dating and romance, because believe it or not, it shouldn't be a chore. It shouldn't be something you have to do. It shouldn't be something you absolutely dread it should actually be fun. So today I wanted to give you and talk you through the three rules which can help significantly improve your chances of having fun and getting yourself out there. So number one, and this is really important, your only goal for the date is to stay in the date. Now, what I mean by that is what I see and what is quite common is when we're dating somebody and when, when we're on a date, our mind tends to either race ahead, so we're kind of trying to foresee whether they would be our perfect match 10 years down the line, or we get so overexcited because we've met somebody and there's a bit of chemistry, there's a spark, we find them attractive, and we kind of almost don't listen to what they're saying, we just walk ourselves down the aisle. Um, or what we tend to do is sit there and judge and nitpick and take little things they're saying and twist them in order for us to have an excuse not to see them again. So, you know, we're kind of um, watching and waiting for the red flags and we will um, take whatever they say, perhaps out of context and sort of use it as a little bit of a black mark. So we're judging, we're assessing um, or we're kind of not in the date because we're somewhere else entirely thinking of what could happen where it could be. Now what it actually means is more often than not you come away with a bit of a false sense of how it went and how you actually felt about them. So the number one rule has to be stay curious and stay in the date, listen to them, see how your body feels, see how you react, what kind of feelings they're bringing up kind of within, like go into it with that approach and stay connected. Number two is do not audition for the role of the girlfriend. Now, I've definitely been there and I'm sure you have, but look, you shouldn't be trying to sell yourself um, on a date as a perfect girlfriend and you also shouldn't be trying to win a second date, you know? It's not about having to laugh or smile in the right places or saying the right thing or doing the right thing or, you know, worrying about if you, you know, have a double chin from a certain angle. Um, I want you to go into the date asking whether they are right for you and focusing on actually whether you like them, whether you want to see them again. You know, that's your kind of aim, isn't it? You want to meet somebody, see how you feel about them and actually see whether you like them enough to kind of um, explore it further. But try not to immediately jump to the space of feeling like you've got to win them. Um, and that, you know, letting your self-worth get wrapped up in whether you get that second date, because it is a dangerous trap to go down. And the third and final rule, which most clients hate, is unless you have a reason not to, please go on the second and the third date. It is so difficult to know if somebody is going to be right for you after an, an hour or a couple of hours. And I think in the age of not wanting to waste time, we are very, very quick to write people off or we say there's no chemistry, there's no spark. You know, um, we can't see ourselves walking down the aisle the moment we've met. But love doesn't really work like that. In fact, I think it's 11% of people said they met somebody and instantly knew, which means 
about 90% of us it is a slower burn. So don't write people off, you need to give yourself time and permission to get to know somebody to see whether you're compatible and to see whether there are the qualities there that actually you would fall in love with. So that is it for now. Um, but yeah, let me know, please like, subscribe and comment and let me know your thoughts and whether you've got any other questions from there.